Guys, it's Dane with DynastyBreaks.com. It is the 20th of December 2019, Friday night, George. Yes, sir. And the moon is bright, George. And everybody's tight and upright. That's it. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it's uptight and, and not right. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we're doing the Dynasty Vault, speaking of uh, upright. Uh, this is case, num case break number nine. Uh, we went to random.org and determined what case we're going to use. This is case one of 10. So uh, check out our live stream to see us do that random. We've got 11 hits in here. Uh, fantasy draft style is how we're doing this. We've got 11 names. Here they are. Uh, Jamie's here. Uh, Brian GRA. Thomas from Kentucky. Daryl and his ham he carries around at Christmas. Uh, Tom Har from Texas. Benjamin, also known as Scott for some reason. Uh, Tom KUR. Brandon Rim. Good job getting into the uh, break today. Uh, Nick tore something. Gerald and Jamie, uh, you got the free spot in this break. Uh, you got the 11th pick in the draft, the last pick in case break number eight. That is the fourth case in a row that Jamie has gotten the 11th pick and gotten a free spot in the next one. So you are piling up hits, brother. That's insane. Congratulations. What we're going to do, we're going to open the case, reveal the cards. We will take all these names, go to random.org, uh, randomize them. We will then determine our draft order. Paste it right here. We've got uh, pick number nine is going to get a spot in our holiday break on January 8th. We're giving away all kinds of goodies. You can check that out on our homepage, dynastybreaks.com. Scroll down to the bottom. If you get pick 10... There will be a bonus box inside of this case. Pick 10 will get their card plus the contents of that box, which we will not reveal till the very end. Pick 11, uh, also known as the Jamie spot. If you get that, you get the last pick in the draft, plus you will be in Sunday's final, Sunday. final case of the vault that we're doing 6.30 p.m. Central uh, on Ice Cream Sunday. Uh, that's all I know. Let's... Get to cracking. You so got that, means, that means Jamie will have a spot in the Maybe. Spot, right? Maybe. That would be five in a row if it happens again. Uh, you guys can uh, trade. I will type the cards in after we determine draft order. While I'm doing that, you guys can talk trade. Um, you can use PayPal. You can trade two picks for one. Whatever you guys want to do. We cannot verify any money changing hands. But... Uh, had quite a few trades in this run of the vault. This is uh, shrink wrapless. We ran out of shrink wrap. So. Sorry, it's not as professional. All right, this is our bonus box. Pick 10, we'll get that. We'll not reveal that until the end. All right, here we go. You ready, George? Yes, sir. This is the Dynasty Vault. We've got 11 hits in our beautiful boxes here. We've got 11 people in this fantasy draft. We're going to reveal the cards now and let you guys uh, pick the ones you want. Uh, we are DynastyBreaks.com. New customers get $5 off credit when you do your first break. So check out our website. Uh, this is our own product we put together ourselves. And uh, we also do regular uh, cases of cards from Panini, Tops, and Leaf. So, and oh mama. Woo! We're starting out right, George. Uh, is this guy any good? I don't know. This is from Transcendent Baseball, and I'll tell you a little more about this card in a second. Number to 25, Whoa. Mike Trout Auto. Our first Whoa. card is Trout. Whoa. This is not from regular Transcendent. Those lucky people last year that got to go to the Transcendent party with Mike Trout, uh, you had to get a ticket out of one of the cases this is the exclusive card from that VIP party, number to 25. Oh, so this is a short print from the Transcendent VIP party. Even more limited. Only the magical ticket holders from last year have this. Yeah, how it is live. I'm... What is? This break. I'm not exactly sure. For some reason, he thought this was maybe this box was last night's box or something. I don't nah. know. But you're live, man. It's all live, brother. All right, that was a good start. Good night. 
Um, next up, I've heard of this guy as well. Beckett graded 9.5 Jim Mint with a 10 on the autograph. This is from 2001. SP Authentic, one of the greatest insert names of all time. Sign of the Times, Peyton Manning. A young Peyton Manning on card auto. Sign of the Times, what a great name for an insert set. Got a 10 on centering, 9.5 corners and surface, 9 on the edges, 10 on the auto. Oh, Brian, I think it was 5 last night, I think, was the case number. Don't make me absolutely Yeah, it was case that. 5 yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was 5 last night. It was 5, brother. Nice Manning. Is that guy any good? I don't know. Was he any good? Are either of those first two guys any good? I don't you guys know. ever heard it's of those questionable, guys? questionable, I think. I'm not sure they're going to be. Well, we play, Manning's not going to be playing anymore. We know Can I have that trout? Can I just have it? Whoever gets it. Just draft it. And what say, trout? I'm drafting the trout, and Dan can have it. There is no trout. Oh, George already took it. Um, this guy should be in the conversation for MVP if Lamar Jackson was not going insane. Uh, this would be your MVP. He could break the all-time scrimmage yards record Chris Johnson holds. This is an Origins on-card rookie auto, 9-5 Jim Mint, Christian McCaffrey. Boom. Kabam. Got to change up the sound effects, man. No, it's not. I'm just, it's just keep, boom every time. I have to boom every time, so it's all it's non. Um, what's the word? Influencing. Look how great that card looks. Love origins nine football. Five. We got two tens. Two man. tens. It's what? Well, it's not. It's a nine away from. One point away from pristine. Yeah. There you go. I needed a nine five on corners and a ten on edges would have got you there. Great card. Christian McCaffrey. Our first McCaffrey from the uh, vault, I believe. Yeah, he's number three. Probably Russell and Jackson because quarterbacks always get it, which I don't think they should. And his team's not very good, but he's a monster. Or he may have been talking about three big hits. Oh, I thought he meant he's third for the MVP race. It could be. How about a PSA graded card? It's about time for one. How about a PSA 10? Whoa. 2019 Gypsy Queen autos. These always look amazing. Look at this. Christian Yelich. There's the rocket. He changed it up. There you go. <laughs> Gypsy Queen PSA 10. A tough grade on this one. That is on card. Zoom in. All you Yelich fans. Hard to get anything better than a 10. That's true. An 11 is tough to get. It really is. Because it doesn't exist. There you go. So it started off good. Keaton agrees more than just the boom sound. Well, there you go. Right. What is this? A Gypsy Queen case? I don't know. What is this? Is this, is this a case of top Gypsy Queen? Left-handed. This is a nice catch. This is a uh, nine-five Jim Mint from Beckett with a ten on the autograph. He looks confused, but this is a great-looking card. Cal Ripken Jr. Ow! The tiger is loose. Look at that. On card auto. Two Gypsy Queens, one case. There you go. Yeah, Scott, I've been watching some stuff, and um, I've got I, I've got a whole new respect for the uh, grading of cards. We love getting graded cards. Number one, it's higher value. Um, number two, when we don't buy a card that's graded, we've gotten in stuff before, and we haven't been able to put it into the vault because it's it's significantly damaged if it's just got a little bit nothing's perfect i mean we don't say everything's perfect in the vault but we try to get graded when we can <laughs> like this one this is graded this is gigantic look at the thickness on that yeah we know it's beckett bgs 95 gem mint this is a dual autograph silver ink this is a college card david robinson wow. hakeem olajuwon 
couple of Hall of Famers. There you go. 17 of 35 Navy and uh, University of Houston. That is from Upper Deck Black, 2012-13. Uh, What's up, Blaine? The Exquisite Collection. That is a 10 on both autographs, guys. 10 on both. Elijah Wan and David Robinson. The Admiral. We prefer Beckett. Um, some it, was, it was Beckett for me, Scott. I'm kind of thinking about PSA now. I don't know. Some cards for PSA are going to sell for more, like a 9.5 versus a 10. Uh, going to sell for more in a PSA 10. But if you get a BGS 10, it's going to. That's sort of the cream of the crop there. It's really a personal preference. And. Okay. Uh, this is PSA authenticated. This is not PSA graded. The authentication uh, means that this autograph and this card is real. This is one of the most heavily faked cards out there. Did I tell you that already? Well, at least we don't have a faked one. This is a this is an authentic one. This is 2003 Fleer Authentics. Derek Jeter auto. Mm. There you go. Nice Jeter. That's Holy cow. This card has uh, had some people try to make it themselves. This one is PSA DNA certified. Nice card from 03. There's only 250 copies of this. 190 of 250. Let me go on the serial number. It's really pretty easy, Scott. They make it easy. It just uh, you're better off to collect the number of cards and and do you know ten or fifteen or twenty at the same time. You'll get a better price. Yeah, sending in one card, not not usually worth it unless it's big money card or something. Boyfriend of Danica. What? That's how we should introduce him. I didn't know we had one of his cards. Twenty. 18 National Treasures Football on card patch auto. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Hold on. Um, We're a little off on our time. Say it again. Well, hold, on, say, hold on. Say it again. 2018 National Treasures Colossal Patch Auto. Aaron Rodgers. There you go. Better, George. Five of ten. Look at this thing. That is so cool. His number inscription. He doesn't always do that on his auto either. That is a tough pull out of NT football. I forgot about this case. Good night. That was one of the first cards we bought for the vault. There's a swimming card. <laughs> or is that What does is that, that mean? Is it supposed to be where's the swimming card? Oh, it's maybe it's coming. I don't know. <laughs> Phelps. <clears throat> People buy spots in this mark over in Facebook, and uh, everybody gets a card. We're going to fantasy draft for them in a minute. You can watch and see how it works. Uh, this is a 2001 Upper Deck Game Gear Cut Autograph. 9-5 Jim Mint, Jim Brown. Wow. The great Jim Brown. Jim Mint. Wow. Jim Brown. Hey, Mark P., I'm going to put our website in. There are your grades. There are your grades. Nice autograph. That is a tough grade, too, because of the back. Got the uh, darker corners. Beautiful. Our website, that's where everything, all the upcoming breaks are listed. So we've got uh, Sundays and Mondays breaks listed. Sunday. There's still spots available. Then we're going to take a little time off for Christmas and start back on Friday. Uh, but then we, we are breaking cards, um, or breaking cases of cards. In this case, it's a buyback product that we do. This case is great. You know what's great about this? What? I don't think this is one of the best ones. And it's still great. How about that? I agree. You like I, that? I don't. I, yeah, I'm, it's growing on me. You like that? It's growing on you. Uh, this is growing on you. This is when George was in his mid-40s when this card came out. 
1951 Bowman football. Rookie? I believe a rookie. I can't remember. I think it's a rookie. Tom Landry. Don't cry. Tom Landry, 51 Bowman. Why can't I remember? I think this is his rookie card. PSA 3. Beautiful color on this. Played for the Giants. Old Cowboys coach. That's not one you see very often. Nope. There you go. Defensive back for the Giants. Old school. Holy shamoly. Someone said holy shamoly. That's, uh, Scott said that. Holy shamoly. <laughs> All right, this box, I'll put this here. It's for our 10th pick. We won't reveal that until after the draft is complete. And our last card. Oh, I love it. My favorite set of all time. There was a time, George, that uh, you and you and I together couldn't afford this card. Well, maybe we could if we, like, mortgaged something. Uh, and this does have a sleeve over it. It's in a mag. We have a sleeve over it so there's no scratching. This is a 1993 Topps Finest Baseball Refractor Mark McGuire. Ever so tough. All-star refractor. Look at this thing. Great looking card. Very prone to scratching, so we put a sleeve over this, guys. Wanted to put a mag around it. Big Mac. Hall of Famer someday. First ever Topps Finest set. All right, that was the case. Here we go. Um, let's determine our draft order, and then I will type in the cards while you guys talk trades. So hold off on your uh, on your picks in case we do have any trades. Uh, George, what number you got? I'm I'm just afraid to go. I'm gonna go a seven though. I'm gonna keep doing seven until it hits. All right. If we roll a seven, what we'll do is the eighth pick in the draft will get five dollars in sight credit as a bonus. Roll the five. Jeez. Hadn't hit it on any of them. No, we've been missing everything. All right, five times on the random to determine our draft order, guys. Good luck. Let's go to random.org. Scroll down to your names. We've got Jamie down to Jamie. It's a Jamie sandwich. Everyone else is the meat. Here we go, random.org. Five times, and then I will type in the cards and let you guys discuss anything you wish to do as far as bartering. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, and good luck. Five. We've got Jamie with the top pick in the draft, and down to Brandon Rim at pick eleven. There you go, Jamie down to Brandon. That is five times on the random. Make sure I copied that, guys. Well, that's the other end, Jamie. Jamie's on the other end. Free spot winner is uh, getting the number one pick. Got curse you. And let me paste these in. All right, guys. We will turn down the sound. Memorize your picks. I'll uh, scroll down, type all the hits in, and then we will come back, see if we've got any trades, and uh, move forward. If you do make a trade, type in the trade details into chat and include your shipping zip code. We'll be right back, guys. If you're watching the uh, video, and you can fast forward if you're watching this later. So go ahead and do that now.
Tom, I, I assume you're you're talking to the people in chat, but in case you're asking the question, there is you guys are allowed to trade. I assume you know that, so I guess you're just making a comment about not much trade talk going on. But it is doable if you guys want to. Scott, we try to we try to do it about three times, maybe four times a year. It just takes a long time to put this together. You wouldn't think so, but um, we we, buy, we buy the cards from everywhere. We if we don't take our time, we found that it's just not as good. We really need to be selective when we when we put this together. So it just uh, one at a time, two at a time, five at a time, ten at a time. Not a whole lot of talk. There is a uh, Brian, and I will I will not continue to do this unless you guys don't see something. Brian is offering uh, spot ten plus fifty for spot eleven. Brandon, who has spot eleven, says he would only trade his spot for for spot one. Worked out pretty well for you, didn't it, Jamie? Congrats, man. I don't even know what you take, but congrats. I know, uh, I know you'll get what you want. But uh, I think it's about two more cards for Dane to type in. Maybe it's three. Uh, and then we'll be ready to go. There's not a whole lot of talk going on about trades. A little bit. You guys can still trade. Uh, I think Jamie is saying the first, number, the number one pick is off the board. He is not going to move. Uh, so then, the, but you guys can still, if you get into the draft and want to trade one of the other numbers, uh, as long as it hadn't come up yet, you guys can do that. All right, those are typed in. We'll give it about one and a half more minutes, guys. One and a half minutes before we start the draft. You guys can trade during the draft as long as you don't hold up the draft. So if a card is still there on the board as we go um, and you would like to jump up and get it, you guys need to state your offers quickly. Uh, type the deal, put your shipping zip code, make your pick, and then you guys can square up uh, later. So um, again, you can make a move during the draft when it's your selection. So uh, about another minute. And make sure you guys don't say anything that would affect the draft. These guys paid hard-earned money to uh, get in here. So uh, don't affect the draft by anything you say in chat. That doesn't mean you can't talk. Yeah, you can say, <laughs> and you can talk about a card after it's been picked if you want to say that surprised me or that was, wow, I had that higher on my board. That's fine, but I, I just wait. About one more minute, guys, and we will say Jamie is on the clock. Do you see any uh, trade talk, George? Not at all. All right, well, let's go ahead and start it then, Jamie. If you're staying at one, there's no reason not to.
Jamie, I believe the first time Jamie's had the first pick in this uh, run of the vault. Thanks, Blaine. It's been good, man. The holiday break is going to be different than the vault, guys. It's not going to be the vault. It yeah. is going to be just uh, some boxes we're giving away, some autographed memorabilia, some cards. Uh, not going to be the level of, uh, not going to be the uh, price level or quality of the vault. So it is, it is definitely different, but it's a bunch of free stuff. So can't go wrong with giving away free things. All right, Jamie is taking the trout. All right, that is from the VIP party last year. Uh, 100 people, no, 83 people got to go to that. That was an exclusive auto for the people that got into the party. So that is very cool, Jamie. Congrats on that. Mike Trout going first. No surprise there. Uh, Nick tore something up at the two spot. Hope he's okay. Here you go, Nick. Nice trout, man. Fishing and caught himself a very nice trout. Patrick, Patrick, I don't know what you're typing over there. You're welcome, Jane. Jamie. Who's Jane? Well, it, it's James on the in our. Is that your pet system. name for him? Yeah, Jane. You call him James. Let's call him James. Calls you Georgie. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to be live, Tom. We're gonna do that break and record it, and then we'll post the video that Wednesday night when we're done. So you don't have to be present. It's not a fantasy draft. It's going to be random hit style. We so. just hope it's going to be fun. It's just uh, our way of saying thank you to folks for uh, breaking with us and supporting us. We appreciate that. So Absolutely. We just collected a bunch of stuff. Billy found some of the trash cans outside. and, and uh, <laughs> Yep. Yeah, good stuff. Trash Panda. Optic Football is up after this, our first case of Optic. We will do another case next Friday. So if you're looking for another case of Optic, always looking for those rated rookie autographs. Thanks, Big G. See, he called me Big, Big G. Big G. He called me Big G. Nobody's call ever him called like, him that. I call him Jane. <laughs> no one's ever called him Big. <laughs> uh, Nick... I don't know if Nick's alive. Nick is here, I'm pretty sure, because he said nice card. Uh, he's thinking, I'm guessing. I know sometimes it hurts Nick's head to think. <laughs> I'll take the Rogers. I bet you will, sir. Rogers. Uh, the uh, sacred holder of a relationship with Danica. Aaron Rodgers going to Nick. That's mainly why he picked that. Uh, congrats, man. 2018 National Treasures Football. Uh, patch Auto, 5 of 10. Try to buy a box of 2018 NT right now. Yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, Thomas PIR says pick three is available. So if you were below pick three and uh, are interested in offering your spot and some money or whatever you want to offer. All right, you guys, make your offers quickly. Don't don't want to ask him how much. You guys make your offers, so uh, that way it moves a little quicker. We've got a couple minutes here. Tom is saying for the nine spot. The nine spot would get the uh, spot in the holiday break along with pick nine. Yeah, Patrick, um, while he's making his pick, this is a little different than the normal uh, cases we open. This is a buyback product that we've put together. Uh, this is a fantasy draft, so we open all the uh, we open the case, all, all the boxes, and show the cards, and then we randomize the people's names uh, to determine our draft order. Yep, and then they get to pick the cards, which is what they're doing right now. 
And uh, we're going to do a regular case break next, Patrick, so you can see what a normal one. It'll be a little bit longer. It's got a lot of cards, but uh, we're going to do optic football after this. That'll be a Panini product, not our own product. This is a very special uh, thing we do. Uh, 300 is what he's saying if someone wants to buy the spot. I've uh, got about one minute or so for you guys to make your decision on that. Pick three available at 300 is what Thomas says. Ten spot, which comes with a bonus box, and fifty is Brian's offer. And you give fifty. In other words, he's asking. For oh, and you 50. give. Okay. Yeah. So for spot to move down to spot ten, he's saying spot three and fifty dollars. About one minute, guys. One minute for the pick. Thinking about spot nine, all right. Ryan, we typically don't do that unless someone asks to see a particular card just because of having to show them all again while they're trying to make decisions. You, if, um, yeah, if someone wants to see one, it's fine. Yeah, we'll post. There'll be a video later on. I apologize, buddy. We've still got like nine cards left. So um, we'll post it after we go off the air tonight, Ryan. And you can watch our uh, other vaults we've been posting over the last week. If you just scroll down on our Facebook page, you'll see all the old ones we've done. I'll trade for spot nine. All right. Is that uh, who? Need your zip code. Tom K U R. Uh, he's taking up on your offer for spot nine, so you guys will be swapping. All right, uh, so uh, Tom, K-U-R, need, uh, need your trade details. Type in what you're doing and your shipping zip code. And Thomas, you guys have very, we have there you three. Go. Thomas three, has got it. We have three Tom yeah. slash Thomases in this break. It's a lot of Tom. Some serious Tom in this break. All right, so. Tom, K-U-R, if you'll type it in basically just like Thomas did, except use your zip, obviously. Duh. That'll be your shipping zip code. <clears throat> shipping zip code, please. Oh, I did, we can show you one. Tom, uh, Ryan, if you want, I thought you wanted to see everything. Uh, all right. Confirmed or affirmed, whatever it is on Thomas and Tom. K U R Y. No, Brian, you can go ahead and offer it. That's fine. All right, so that is um, six. George will yep. confirm that. All right, it is confirmed. Go ahead, Tom KUR on the clock. What's your pick? Tom needs a new name. <laughs> Some serious Tom. Brian offering spot 10, $350. That would be the 10th pick in the draft plus the bonus box. And Tom K, you are. 
It is your pick, sir. This is your life. I think Tom probably knew what he was moving up to get, I bet you. Or maybe one of those things like, oh, I got it? Oh. Holy moly. You know what? Football is almost over. Football is almost over. That's crazy. It's a sad man. time. Um, Tom, we'll give you about another minute. Man, one more minute. We have been on pick three for over seven minutes, guys. Woo! We are going to say one minute left. Yeah. Team Coke. Bathroom break. I hope not. <laughs> All right, Tom K. U. R. About thirty seconds left, man. Thirty seconds left, guys. If we uh, have lost Tom K. U. R. in chat, let's hope not. Uh, we would have to go to random.org to determine your pick. Tom, at least, at least let us know you're here. We are approaching uh, close to close to 10 minutes, guys, on this pick. Here it'll be at the, there he is. I'll take the Yelich. All right. Christian Yelich, 2019 Gypsy Queen, Jim Mint, on card auto, PSA 10. There you go, Tom. Congrats, that man. Card's going to Illinois to forever live in the state of Illinois. Sorry, man. We didn't need, mean to push you too much there, but. Uh, yeah, we're not trying to hurry you, Tom. We're just. It, it uh, sounded like it. We were just trying to hurry you. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Uh, Benjamin, also known as Scott, amongst uh, maybe some other names as well, on the clock. Yeah, we got you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate that, bud. All right, let me scroll back down to the list here. Benjamin. Christian McCaffrey, please. 2018 Origins. Actually, that's 2017. Don't, don't tell me I'm wrong. That's 17. It is 17. My bad. I did put rookie on here, but yeah. that's the wrong year. 2017 Origins. Christian McCaffrey. So, rookie Auto, BGS 9-5. Jim Mint. That's Benjamin. Going to Scott Ooh. slash Benjamin. Ooh. He's the MVP in my heart. Uh, Benjamin is? Yes, yes. Uh, Daryl carrying around a ham. He just puts it under his arm, carries it around. <laughs> Daryl, you're on the clock. That's not fair, Tom. I mean... Come on, man. <laughs> Just like my wife. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, oh, man. Take your time, but hurry? No. <laughs> Take your time, but hurry. Yeah. Yeah, now that, I, now that this has passed and you have this card, I don't know where it should go. It's wherever somebody takes it. It's in your but pants, isn't it? I George? love I love that. McCaffrey card. George put it in his pants. I did not. Well, added bonus. Well, after I put it in a bag, I put it in my pants. There's <clears throat> so many good ones in this one. So many. Yep. Great case. Tough decisions. Tough decisions are good. They are good. It's hand bone, right? I'll take Peyton again. Thanks, guys. Another Peyton. Peyton Manning, 2001 SP Authentic, Sign of the Times, Beckett. Jim Mint, 9-5 grade. Going to the ham carrier, Daryl himself. Uh, and Tom Har, the man that needs a new name from Texas on the clock. we got a lot of Texans in this break. That's a good thing. Thanks, Hambone. Congrats, man. Nice card, man. I think this, so he, he got a... 
Peyton out of one of the other brakes, right? We have had that Peyton in our vault over the summer. I don't think the subgrades were as good on the last one. <laughs> I may be wrong. Yeah, this actually has a 10. Yeah, it has a 10 sub on there. Ooh. She does. Very nice. He's taking the Jeter. Yeah. As... I, I cannot believe, and I can say that now that you've selected it, I cannot believe this Derek Jeter went at pick number six. Good night. I, and I can see why because of the players up here. That's right. That just speaks to the quality of the card. Woo! Derek Jeter. That is DNA, PSA, DNA, whatever. Authenticated. It is real. Number to 250. Uh, going to Tom Hart. Congrats on the Jeter, man. Did you think that Jeter was going to be there, Tom? I bet you didn't. Uh, Jamie, second pick at the seven spot. Jamie, not at pick 11. It's weird. Jamie is usually at the 11 spot. That's uh, Tom R's second vault, Jeter. Wow. What was your first one? Remind me. Uh, was it over the summer? Let me think what ones we had. God, we've had like, I think we've had like eight. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I agree, Hambone. Is he traded that from eleven to two? Mm. I think I do remember somebody. Yeah, that may be the only time that's happened. Last vault. One, two, three, four, five left. One, two, three, four, five. There. Robinson and Dream. Yeah, Elroy got that SPX cut. That was cool. That was the uh, Michael Jordan case, I remember. There he goes, Jamie. All right, David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, dual auto. That is a exquisite collection upper deck. BGS 9.5 with a 10 on both autos. There you go. Good pick, good pick, Jamie. Good pick, Jamie. Jamie, good pick, Jamie. Gerald, up next. We do it about uh, three times a year, uh, Craig. It, it takes a while to put it together, so we uh, we do it three times a year. We'll do another one in the spring. No problem, Scott. Thanks, Big G. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see the McGuire. Gerald wants to see the Mark McGuire. 93 finest refractor. We do have a sleeve over this. I would not advise magging these unless you put a sleeve over it. Prone to scratching. Here's the finest, the, the uh, initial finest set, 93. One refractor per box back then. Yeah, Brian, it's, uh, I, we, we appreciate you guys uh, buying into these. Uh, I think if it wasn't for the fact that Christmas had you know it's it come up so quickly on us, we probably would have spread them out just a little bit more. Um, we did want to kind of get them finished before Christmas, and we were just really a little late starting on them. We thought about doing a cheaper vault, also. Um, obviously, the cards wouldn't be as oh my goodness wow, yeah. but uh, we thought about it. It's, it seems to me like it's just, it's just hard to go the other way. Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, do a ninety-nine dollar buy-in that'd be fun, but then the card's going to be like, oh, it's nice. Some people would get like a forty-dollar card, thirty-dollar card, then you know, and so that, and then maybe one person's getting a seven, eight hundred dollar, you know. So I'll take the man with the hat. The man with the hat, Tom Landry. Tom Landry, 51 Bowman, PSA 3 grade. It's a uh, grade of very good from PSA. Thanks, there you Gerald. Go. 
There we go, Gerald, going old school. Tom Landry, we are now into our bonus picks. Thomas PIR traded down. Thomas from Kentucky. Uh, this will be your second spot in the last three. So there you go, Thomas. I'll just copy your name. Paste you in. You've, uh, you're in for those two, and you may have another one. I'm not, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, congrats, man. January 8th, you're guaranteed a hit for each spot in our 60 hits for the holidays break. And you are on the clock, man. Which one is it, Scott? You got it from us, I'm trying. You just opened my Blake Snell auto good looking card. Thanks, fellas. Jim Brown. Jim Brown going next. There you go. Thomas P I R. Jim Brown, Jim Mint autograph goes at pick nine. Mm. Unbelievable. There you go, Thomas. Uh, Brian, you're going to get the 10th tenth pick in the draft plus the bonus box at the end. So, uh, Mark McGuire, 93 finest refractor and a Cal Ripken auto. Uh, Scott, it depends. Look it over. If I think a card has any condition issues, I'm not going to get it graded. If I think it looks really good, uh, I am. And usually you need to try to send in multiple cards so it's cheaper. Um, if you only send in one card, it's pretty expensive to get it graded. Unless your card shop, your local card shop will, uh, sometimes they send in a hundred at a time and you can uh, add yours to their group. That's what I would do. No, I did not see that Jim Brown falling that far either. That's crazy. Jim Brown at nine. Can you see the cow? You certainly may. Why not? Why not, I say. Uh, this is 2011 Gypsy Queen Baseball. The Iron Man, Cal Ripken Jr. So, Thomas, your, your trade worked out fine for both of you guys. That is three nine fives and a nine on the grade, ten on the autograph. There's the back. That wouldn't have been crazy if it went at two. I could see the Jim Brown going at two. It would not have surprised me. It would not have surprised me. Which I think is one of the nice things about the fantasy draft. Somebody's idea, McGuire, please. That might have been Thomas PIR's dream to trade down and still get the Jim Brown. <laughs> so, Maybe. Uh, all right, 1993 Finest Refractor. My favorite set, Brian. Uh, Mark McGuire. Our second Finest Refractor we've ever had in a vault. We also had a Tony Gwynn. That was not the all-star card. Uh, and you'll get that bonus box right after we put Brandon's card. Brandon, you're getting a free spot in the vault that's going to be on uh, Ice Cream Sunday. Sunday! <laughs> uh, that is this Sunday at 6.30 Central. So you've got the free spot plus a Cal Ripken Jr. auto. Jim Mint from Beckett. So, Brian, let's see what your uh, bonus is. Type it in here. Only got two of these left, so... See what we got? This feels graded. He'll sell it to me. I already bought it once. Ooh. Ooh. Nice bonus card. Whoa. Woo. Um, 86, 87 Fleer basketball. It's not a Jordan. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? It's huh? not a Jordan. What? Um, but it's pretty darn close. It's a, a 92, SGC graded 92, which is an 8.5 near mint mint. Charles Barkley rookie. Wow. Boom. That deserves a boom. Huge bonus card. Ch 
Charles Barkley rookie card going with your Maguire finest refractor. There you go. Pretty good grade, man. That is a near mint mint plus. Nice. Show the back as well. Clean card. Brian says he'll take it. And yeah, Brandon, that's pretty cool, man, for that's the a, 11 spot. That's a great bonus. Yeah, Cal Ripken, too. Yeah. All right. Tonight's Friday, isn't it? Woohoo! Tonight is Friday. Charles Barley. My favorite, uh, one of my favorite, uh, what is it, grains? But I think we're going to go Barkley, not Barley. Um, Charles Barley, also very popular. Um, we'll stop the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, check us out, DynastyBreaks.com. Join us for a break. Uh, we do all different kinds, not just fantasy drafts like this. We'll be right back.